Well, next to the latest in our FA Cup first round previews. Last night, we were with the North West's lowest place club, Hyde United, who play in football's eighth tier. Tonight, we move up a league to the Evo Stick Premier Division, where Nantwich Town are plotting a cup shock against League Two Stevenage. Chris Hall's been to meet their star striker, who's hoping tomorrow ends with a night on the tiles. This is the reality of semi-pro football. Even on match days, kick-off can come after a full day's graft. Electrician Sean Cook is buzzing about the cup, but Nantwich Town's top goalscorer doesn't get treated like royalty. That mug. <laughs> You're going to get some ribbing for that tonight. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> you seem quite handy. What are you trained up in? I'm an electrician and I can do a bit of tiling, which uh, my dad taught me how to do. And what would he make of your tiling upstairs? Oh. I'm miles better than him, so if I ever do a bad job or a good job, it's still better than his. This father-son relationship is under more strain than most. His dad is also his manager, and they live under one roof. If you've had a, a bad result on a Saturday, do you tend not to meet up for the Sunday roast that weekend? Or oh, you... I'll tend to stay away for that weekend. And hopefully on Monday morning when work starts, you'll have forgotten about it. Lately, that's not been necessary. Sean's goal's vital in clinching a round one place for only the second time in Nantwich's 133-year history. I just look at him as any other player. When you, when you go out on the pitch, he's one of the 11, so... Uh, no preferential treatment at all. If he has a bad game, how much of a rollicking do you give him? He, he gets his dinner about Wednesday or Thursday the following week. <laughs> also hungry to step from his father's shadow is goalkeeper Will Jaskalainen. The son of Bolton legend Yussi can now make his own cup memories. He got into the semi-final of the FA Cup against Stoke. But I was buzzing to go to Wembley for the first time. Yeah, that was a good experience, but we did lose, so it wasn't that good. But if you could get through to the second round, you really would be making history here, though. Yeah, that would be amazing. Still a fairy tale now, but hopefully it'll come true at the weekend. This rural club has a few golden needles in a haystack of non-league campaigns. They won the FA Vars in 2006 and then reached the FA Trophy semi-finals, while Andy Locke's 1995 hat-trick in just two minutes and 20 seconds remains an FA Cup record. Sean is part of a hat-trick of Nantwich under-8s old boys now in the senior team who've grown up with town's cup tradition. I've been on and off playing with them for about 15 years or so. It'll be a great moment if we all three of us step on the pitch and hopefully we can get that victory and it'll be even more sweeter. We've seen your son uh, doing a bit of work at a house today. He says that you taught him everything that he knows. Did he do a good job? He did. He seemed to do all right. <laughs> the house hasn't burnt down then yet. The only other time this club has reached the first round, they lost 6-0 to MK Dons. If Sean wants a peaceful family weekend, he'll have to score for his supper. Chris Hall, ITV News, Nantwich.